This conference will now be recorded. Hello, students. Dear students, how are you? Due to the fact that no schools right now because of virus, we decided to explain the topic or topics as online, as online form. Okay, today we are going to talk about the first topic of Unit 4 from Biology, Year 5. And I hope that this lesson will help you to understand the topic. Okay, the name of the topic is variation. But the first follow, the first follow. What's variation? Variation is differences between organisms, differences between characteristics. But what are characteristics? Let's go now. Okay. Characteristics is a feature of organism. It can be something we can see, like hair color or something we can see like blood group i mean appearance your appearance also your feature for example in the classroom adnan looks different or yusuf looks different or another student looks different and these differences between between students between um, organisms living organisms called variation and also let's say there are a lot of variation between plants. They're living in the same place, but you observe some differences. Why? There are some reasons, of course. The first of all, let's say, um, amount of sunshine. And the sun sunshine, sunlight, affects to um, photosynthesis, rate of photosynthesis. Second, let's say, amount of minerals in the soil, or uh, the problems getting water from soil. All of them affect being a lot of variation between different organisms. Then, all humans have different combinations of characteristics, meaning we all look different. Yeah, we all look different because of, I mean, later we will talk about uh, inherited variation, environmental variation, and or both of them, they all affect uh, the different characteristics. So the differences in our characteristics is called variation. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. what we have here, Mr. Sneeze and Mr. Strong. What are differences between Mr. Sneeze and Mr. Strong? And also easily you can see from the picture, Mr. Sneeze has a long feet, but Mrs. Strong has short. And also look here, the nose, the red, the big nose, like in the circle form, but actually like we can't see any nose in the Mrs. Strong. And but Mrs. Strong has let's say green hat. Yeah, the eyes type and then the head types all are different. Yeah, and these differences again called variation. Variation. Yeah. Then let's go. Little Miss Trouble and Mr. Sneeze. If they had a child, it looks like how? Okay, guys, here you can draw a picture by yourself and your drawing ability and your imagination together gives you a beautiful picture. Maybe it's true, maybe not. Actually, there's no any, let's say, uh, the specific picture. You can draw anything how you want. You are free. But maybe it looks like this. Look, somehow it looks like Miss Trouble, like red hair, um, the color, look, the mouse type. Uh, but look, the eyes it looks like Mr. Sneeze and also the, the long, at the length of feet, look, they look like it's the same. Because both parents, both parents, um, they give some information. That's why the offspring, uh, let's say, 
got have got the the some information from the, the half of half of information from little miss trouble a half of information from mr sleaze and also in the life is the same what we have here if they had a child again what is this mr greedy and little miss brainy if they had a child now it looks like this aha very beautiful very sweet mm -hmm. again it is your imagination imagine that it looks like what mm -hmm. then who are her parents who knows again you can draw the picture by yourself okay let's try to <laughs> maybe t here <laughs> it looks like um here we have <laughs> and maybe <laughs> and here <laughs> and now look mr nose and little miss busy and very beautiful nose here and little miss busy somehow they look the same and the next who are her parents again here guys you can draw the picture by yourself again you are free look little miss sunshine and mr strong uh, because of the combination of genes genetic information together in fertilization process um, and by the way also the somehow a little bit to learn about this the the sex cells of uh, the mother and father they fuse together fuse means that they combine together and in this process called and this process is called a fertilization in the fertilization a half of um, a half of information comes from mother and another half of information comes from father and this information together uh, transfer to new offspring, new child, and the child, new offspring, um, carries the all information together. Okay, and this is also another fact that uh, we look, we all look different because we have different and different um, genetic information. Not, of course, uh, totally, but a little bit, just a few percent. A few, uh, a few percent of differences in gen information causes being differences, being variation between living organisms. Again, little Miss Dirty and Mr. Small, and what if they had a child? You can draw a picture, okay? And uh, here we can talk about also species maybe not about this species species uh, is a group of organisms group of organisms for example dogs dogs are species and cats are species Human being, we are different species. And um, also uh, from internet, also you can search about uh, the in which species we are belongs to. Okay. And, and also this is your homework. And uh, what's next? Here, guys, we have a small paragraph. Um, here you can read it. You can choose which uh, which one is which. Look, we have mainly two factors that affects being variation. The first is inherited. Sorry. Inherited. Second one is environmental. Inherited means that. Characteristics caused by genes 
found in the nucleus of all cells can be passed on from parents to offspring. I mean, we have parents, but we look different. We look different. Why? Because of genetic information. And in the fertilization process, genetic information, they combined, I mean, uh, because there are some differences in, inside in, in the genetic information, look different. And these differences called inherited variation. Let's say uh, blood type, blood groups. Blood groups, uh, they are inherited variation because they mainly transfer, they pass from our parents. That's why blood group is mainly uh, inherited variation. Or ice color. We have ice color from, let, let's say, black, uh, let's say, green, blue, uh, brown. These eye colors mainly, usually, they pass from our parents' new offspring. But also we have environmental factor. If environmental factors also affect being uh, variation, having variation uh, in the before, in the as I told in, in the before, uh, the the starting of the lesson, characteristics caused by influences in the surroundings cannot be passed on from parents to offspring. For example, some disease and uh, maybe. If you uh, fight uh, to someone, if you fight someone, you will get uh, the and scar or some diseases which you get, uh, let's say smoking and 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 all from other factors. They are environmental factors. That's why you get this variation, these differences. Also, we have some variations, which being this variation both factors inherited and environmental both of them uh, affects on it for example uh, your height or let's say here let's write height and weight weight look both of them will affect this why let's say height uh, if your parents are tall prob uh, probably new offspring will be tall yeah but also it depends on nutrients vitamins if you cannot get enough vitamins enough nutrients um, it will be problem and you are not will be uh, you won't be um, tall and second also weight again if your parents are overweight probably again this information will send will uh, transfer to new offspring and new offspring pro probably uh, will be the same but also environmental factors will affect this again if you cannot food uh, if you cannot find enough food uh, you cannot be over overweight you will be seen yeah it's true and also guys here Let's choose. On a visit to the zoo, sorry, a student saw lots of different types of big cat. Here you can choose a big cat. Being big, um, for example, I think for both of them because the food, I mean, environment factors, and also being big their parents affect new offspring, so it can be both. In the pride of lions, the males had a mane. Mane, what's mane? Again, you can type um, on the uh, Google, you can find what's mane, it is on the neck uh, of the male lions, but this is inherited one because it's inherent, inherently a transfer carries from uh, their parents, inherited. But the females didn't. There was one line with big scar scar is of course this is environmental because maybe um you fought the lion fought with someone else that's why he um, has got a scar on its face some of the lines were a little overweight overweight actually um the environmental factors are 
mainly um, effects being overweight here, but uh, may maybe inherited variations, in inherited factors also affect being overweight, as I told before. So let's write here. Oh, all the tigers had stripes. Stripes, guys, this is like tiger's skin architecture. And this is inherited. Uh, the part has spots, and this is again inherited because uh, this is coming from parents. Some of the leopards were larger than others. Again, here, uh, environment factors and inherited factors, both of them will affect this. Enough food, and also if their parents are larger, again, the offspring will be larger. So let's write here both. Yeah. Then, okay, so right now in this lesson, this is enough. So in the next lesson, we'll continue uh, the explaining the rest part of the topic. Right now, bye-bye, guys. See you. I hope you understand, but please read it from book, uh, the unit for the first topic, and try to understand try to grasp it, okay? Thank you.